Tapper, Monday starting at 4 Eastern on CNN. Behind me is just part of what is left of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17. As again, um, you just hope there's none of the children. Oh, the grandchildren will go before you. We saw next to three of the passengers' names a capital I. As we now know, the letter I stands for infant. I mean, it's crazy. You don't expect to go into an airplane and get blown out of the sky. Boy, such a developing situation this morning, and you cannot help but, I mean, it, it hits you in your gut when you listen to some of these people talk. We're so glad that you're with us, and we can walk through this with you this morning. I'm Christy Paul. I'm Victor Blackwell. You're watching a special uh, early edition of New Day Saturday. Let's take that live look uh, in Kuala Lumpur uh, right off the top of the show here. Uh, we're awaiting a news conference here. Uh, we know that Malaysian officials have arrived, uh, at least in Kiev, and are en route to the crash site uh, to begin to, or at least attempt to begin this uh, investigation into the uh, downing of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17. As soon as that begins, of course, we'll bring that to you live. But we know that uh, this morning, international monitors say that rebels toting guns are keeping them, at least, from the crash site uh, where that plane went down in eastern Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say there's no time to wait. They do plan to return to what some are calling the biggest crime scene in the world today. Now, they say gunmen, though, forced them to leave the site yesterday just over.